one night I decided to really try and get the spiritual mood happening and I'm sure you, probably some of you have heard this story before so I apologise. Um, I lit a candle, <laughs> I had the window open, I had the curtains drawn, you know, I was trying to get that really spiritual feeling. It was a nice summer night in Melbourne, as summer as it can get in Melbourne. And uh, I was sitting there thinking, this is it, you know, this is the night. I'd been, you know, investigating all the spiritual proofs, all the scientific proofs about the fact that the mountains are the pegs, about, you know, how, how the, the embryo develops inside, uh, you know, the woman, all these amazing proofs, but I still needed that little push. It was like I was on the edge of a cliff, I was ready to jump, I just needed a push. So I was sitting there, it was very quiet. I was reading Quran and I stopped. I said, Allah, this is my moment. This is the time I'm about to jump into Islam. All I need is just a sign. Just a little sign, nothing huge, maybe a bolt of lightning. <laughs> you know, maybe half the house could fall down or something, you know, just, just small. It's small for you, man. You, you created the earth, come on. So I sat there. I was waiting for the candle to start gliding up to four metres high like in the movies. And I go, okay, go. And subhanAllah, nothing, absolutely nothing happened. I was really disappointed to be honest. So I sat there and I said, Allah, this is your chance. I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. I'll give you another chance. Okay, maybe you're busy. You know, I know it's daytime over the other side of the world. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. Maybe this time it could just be like a car backfiring. You know, something small. All right, the half the house, the candle. Let's forget that. A bird could fart outside. I don't care. Just anything. So I said, okay, go. And subhanAllah, absolutely nothing happened. And I mean, I couldn't have even said, oh, that was it. That, that creep just then in the wall, that was it. Absolutely nothing happened. I was really disappointed. I was gutted. I, I was sitting there thinking, this is it, you know. This was my last chance, Islam. And, and I really, I haven't found it. I pulled back the Quran. I, I turned back to where I was reading. SubhanAllah, the very next verse on the next page. For those of you who ask for signs, have we not shown you enough already? Look around you. Look at the stars. Look at the sun. Look at water. These are the signs for the people of knowledge. SubhanAllah. Look inside yourself. Such perfect order. Hiding in yourselves. Running in your veins. What about anger? Love and pain And all the things you're feeling Can you touch them with your hand? So are they really there? Let's start questioning ourselves Isn't this proof enough for us? Or are we so blind To push it all aside? No, we just have to Open our eyes and hearts and minds we just look quiet to see the signs We can't keep hiding from the truth And let it take us by surprise Take us in the best way Guide us every single day Keep us close to you Until the end of time When a baby's born Watching it growing Why deny What's in front of your eyes The biggest miracle of life We just have to open our eyes and hearts and minds If we just look quiet to see the signs We can't keep hiding from the truth let it take us by surprise Protect us in the best way Guide us every single day Keep us close to you Until the end of time Open your eyes and heart and mind If you just look bright, you see the signs We can't keep hiding from the truth And let 
let it take us by surprise. Protect us in the best way. Guide us every single day. Keep us close to you until the end of time. You created everything. We belong to you. Yet all we raise our hands. Forever we thank you.